day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Aussie Starcraft where we're casting more games from MLG's Game On, a fantastic uh, online tournament that took place very recently. Its top central location is our purple Zerg, it's going to be Aces Scarlet. The bottom central location is our yellow Terran player, it is going to be Roots Illusion. This is Game 2 in a best of 3 series. If you haven't seen Game 1, it took place on Habitation Station, you really ought to check it out, it was a great game. Uh, particularly Illusion's playstyle, very interesting in that uh, game, something we hadn't really seen done before or some tweaks on a, on a different sort of strategy, so uh, I'd suggest you check it out if you haven't done so already. Illusion did manage to take the first game off Scarlet with some pretty impressive play, so uh, the pressure's going to be on Scarlet to uh, perform in this game or or start uh, start behind in this tournament. So uh, we'll see whether Scarlet's able to bring it back or whether Illusion's able to 2-0 Scarlet, which I've got to say guys, I I I say those words and I just just can't believe it. So uh, it's it's been a long time since anyone two owed Scarlet in uh, any competition. So uh, we'll we'll see. I I, I would imagine Scarlet's going to be able to put up a pretty uh, hefty fight in this game. Be surprised if we see this series end here. Scarlet, of course, uh, gonna gonna be going for a hatchery first. We have the, have the drone coming down now to uh, throw down that hatchery. Spawning pool not yet on the field, and uh, we have illusion going for the f fairly similar opening. We have the refinery going down first. Barracks coming down after it. Likewise, I think we'll see some reapers for the scouting as we did in game one, but I'm wondering if Illusion will go for a similar style of early push like he did in game one. He combined the early reapers along with the hellions and added a few marauders in to provide the punch to take down the queens. Obviously tailored that sort of push to Scarlet's game mechanic. Scarlet tends to go for a fairly gasless opening, relying on things like queens and zerglings to hold off any initial pressure, so I'd imagine that uh, he formulated that that uh, offensive, knowing knowing uh, Scarlet's uh, predisposition to defend with queens and zergling, so we'll uh, I imagine it would do fairly well against virtually any zerg player, but uh, did particularly well against Scarlet. And I can't help but feel it was very well executed. Certainly gave Illusion the edge that uh, helped him take game one. Spawning pool is coming up now. Hatchery almost finished as well, so we'll be seeing a pair of queens coming up now. Indeed, uh, first one on the way, number two, uh, I imagine, will be right behind it, and there we go. Expansion being thrown down for Illusion. Now, uh, this, this is a little bit risky throwing it down on the high ground, particularly because there's no defensive units. There is a reactor being built uh, in the main base, and uh, virtually no units to speak of on the field. We have a single Reaper that's scouting. Going to be this Reaper's job to try and prevent any Zerglings making it across the map. Of course, if these Zerglings to, were to make their way down here, they would have been able to delay this expansion considerably. No uh, units in play to try and defend it. But uh, unfortunately, the, the uh, Zerglings being very busy trying to kill off this uh, persistently annoying Reaper from Illusion. So Illusion doing a great job of keeping Scarlet uh, on her side of the map and allowing him the freedom to do, uh, do what he wants to do macro-wise at home. Going to be... Uh, going for a fairly economic opening here, throwing down a second and actually a third barracks very quick. Is a factory on the way as well, but uh, this could be another quite quick timing attack from Illusion. Three barracks, uh, three barracks in a factory, certainly going to have the capacity to put on a lot of pressure very quickly here. As Day9 says, it's all about the options, and when a Terran player is throwing down this many production buildings this quickly, it's, it's generally indicative of uh, what what they're planning to do. I imagine we'll see a tech lab go on this and Stim uh, started very quickly. Gonna be seeing some Hellions out of the factory. They're gonna give Illusion the map the map presence that he wants to try and deny this uh, quite aggressive creep spread from Scarlet. Scarlet's creep spread always fantastic. We'll see uh, if it's likewise in this game. The Queen's out here trying to ensure that no units can slip by undetected and trying to ensure that creep spread is uh, is as is as diligent as possible. Obviously uh, one of the major factors in game one was Illusion picking his battles very carefully in locations that were well covered by creep. We see that uh, Illusion's macro almost uh, almost established here. We have we actually have uh, combat shield going down before Stimpak so 
definitely a, a tailored build here. Going to be mass marines. We've got uh, two reactors finishing up now, so there's going to be a lot of marine production. And we could just be seeing a very heavy marine hellion push. We have two hellions and two reapers trying to put the squeeze here on base number three and certainly doing a good job of that. Two queens here to try and defend it. Evolution chambers to defend the main. And it looks like Scarlet may actually be opening a the back of her base to allow herself to expand to a safer fourth location. I really like this choice. So many uh, Zerg players tend to expand here in front of them. I just feel a safer location behind is, is just an, an absolute uh, giveaway for an expand location. A little bit harder to take because of the rocks, but uh, nothing uh, insurmountable, that's, that's for sure. Looks like Illusion's going to be putting the pressure on very early with these Marines. There is four Marines here, so quite a lot of DPS starting starting to form up here and we have a substantial follow-up to this. We can see Illusion being very careful to not move out uh, haphazardly. Doesn't want his, his reinforcements being picked off by these big groups of Zerglings. And uh, we, we can see Illusion here going to be able to get some big shots off on these Zerglings if, if he's careful. Nice surround from Scarlet going to be preventing the Hellions from being too effective but there's a lot of Marines following up here can't help but thinking that's that's going to be a, a, a nasty engagement for Sky. In fact, 800 resources lost to 45, and a lot of lava lost there. So, Scarlet certainly not uh, with the economic lead she had last game. Only a 10 worker lead thus far, as opposed to this time last game where Scarlet was hovering nearly uh, 15 or 16 workers ahead. These uh, Zerglings wanting to engage, but a lot of Hellions here. Five Hellions still going to be able to do plenty of damage here. Three Banelings being morphed in, but those are going to have to cancel, unfortunately. And uh, Scarlet trying to get a nice surround here, but these two Hellions at the back doing massive damage to this force. Is Scarlet going to fall here and now? I'd, I'd, I'd hate to see it, but it looks like, looks like Illusion's push going to be able to do devastating damage. Banelings morphed in just in time. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage cleaning up. A good deal of these marines, a few reinforcing marines making their way across the field but not sufficient enough to keep this push up and it looks like Scarlet might hold by the skin of her teeth and uh, I've never really got that expression, skin of your teeth. I don't know about yours but my teeth don't have any skin on them but uh, I don't know, it's an expression so I guess we're going to have to roll with it. I wonder if Zerg teeth have any uh, skin on them. If we Unfortunately we can't zoom in on the portrait there but uh, who knows? Maybe they do. Maybe, maybe it's maybe it's an app description for Zerg. Who knows? I, I I'm not one to judge. I haven't I haven't seen the Zerg uh, up close and personal. Just about this close. And uh, from what we've seen out of the Zerg, I'd say anything goes. It looks like uh, Illusion's going to continue to produce these Hellions very uh, consistently. Third macro CC coming up now. Going to be able to take his third base very shortly. And that's bad news for Scarlet, who still hasn't managed to safely secure the third base. These four Hellions being very uh, cost effective, taking down about 25 Zerglings between them. The Marines here also able to soak up a lot of damage. These Banelings trying to be cost effective, but one Marine for one Baneling just isn't the cost efficiency that you're looking for. Third base almost finished up. Scarlet needs this really, really badly at the moment. This uh, back base location has been opened up but still uh, unable to take it just being far too busy on the, with the front foot. Scarlet finally able to pick off these Hellions that's going to buy Scarlet some of the time she needs to establish herself. Big Marine group continuing to move out. Stimpak has finally finished up and these Zerglings Banelings will have to fall back to the creep. It is pure Marine so very uh, dangerous to engage Zergling Baneling with. It can dive very quickly to some nice Baneling connections. Unfortunately for Scar, there is no creep here, so very hard to get the Baneling connections that you would like. Nice connections there. I'm going to clean up this group of Marines, but there are some more reinforcements that are just behind this. And uh, look, it looks like Illusions is going to continue to produce these Marines. Ten at a time. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a late night myself. Uh, try to avoid yawning during a cast. It's, it's certainly not because of the any uh, dullness on the part of the game itself. The game full of action, unfortunately, had a massive night last night. Uh, big day at work as well, but uh, no excuses. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll do my best to prevent doing that in future in this game. So it uh, lo looks like the marine production just continuing to be ramped up. Ten marines at a time. Actually starting to see a few widow mines at a time, and I've been wondering why there haven't been more of these. Even post-patch, most Terran players tend to be using quite a lot of Widow Mines. 
Uh, a few a few marauders sprinkled in would certainly help deal with these banelings as well, but uh, Illusion doing quite well with the marine, so who am I to judge? Surprised we haven't seen baneling go for some burrow play, uh, sorry, Scarlet go for some uh, burrowed baneling play. Scarlet's baneling positioning always very good, so uh, certainly helped, helped to win her some large competitions very recently. Particularly the game on Habitation Station, I think a lot of players saw that game. Uh, Scarlet just with some fantastic burrowed banelings to seal out uh, what was looking like a very difficult game. So, plus two, plus two on the way now for Illusion. Scarlet just continuing to try and produce as many zerglings and banelings as possible. The Mutilus count still a little low to be able to do any harass with. Unfortunately, Scarlet trying to build up this count, but uh, being engaged so relentlessly by Illusion that she can't can't quite afford to produce the muters that she would love to have. A few more muters though would allow her to make away, and these banelings get into the mineral line and just devastate the third base of Illusion. So that was a great uh, pick up for Scarlet. Certainly going to going to ease the pressure that she'll be facing in the coming few minutes of course Terran on three base tend to provide a lot of aggression for the next 10 to 15 minutes so uh, that uh, big play there with the banelings inside the base definitely uh, very important unfortunately for Illusion leaving some gaps for those to sneak through is going to cost him a fair bit of the momentum he built but the question is can Scarlet uh, get the units she needs to do some damage here There's Virtually no base defense in the main. one missile turret here. Lots of damage could be done with the Mutilus. Unfortunately, it, uh, it it is very difficult for Scarlet to buy herself the time she needs to do that. Not a lot of Mutilus in play. A few uh, gradually uh, making their way onto the field, but only one or two at a time, as opposed to the massive uh, flocks of Mutilus we tend to see in a Scarlet game. Fourth base now established, but unfortunately it does look like this fourth base may well get sniped. A lot of Marines here. If we check the Union Cannon Station, 59 Marines for uh, Illusions, looking like a very, uh, very dangerous force here. Plenty of Widow Mines to fall back into, and this this is a particularly irritating push. The, these Marines can uh, can do massive damage to the base, but as uh, Scarlet tries to push over with this Baneling Force, the Widow Mines is proving to be massively cost effective. Scarlet doing a great job of, of trying to equalize this tab. It's only 800 resources differential, which is certainly a lot different to what we typically see in a Terran versus Zerg game, but Illusion nonetheless managing to be very cost effective with, with what's essentially pure marine players. Marines and a few Widow Mines, but uh, virtually virtually nothing but uh, Marines. 2-2 two, two Marines with, with uh, combat shields, so Marine Marines all day long. And uh, we'll we'll see if it's enough for him to seal out game number two. Scarlet's certainly not going to be giving up giving up this game easily. Mulus keeping very active. Unfortunately, struggling to find an avenue to exploit. I can't help but think buying their time to come and kill these missile turrets and harass the main certainly would be very useful. Though a fourth base is now established for illusion, so uh, Scarlet has to be very careful here. Bailing's unfortunately unable to get. Uh, on top of this marine force, Burrow would just be the best thing in the world for Scarlet. If if she could get it and get a few uh, carefully positioned bailings, it would give her an avenue to get on the front foot. If there's one thing that can be said for Scarlet in both these games, it's that she's really struggled to get on the offensive. She's most of the time been not been on the defensive, which is quite common against Terran. But uh, unfortunately, normally Scarlet's play is characteristic with uh, characterized by some great. Uh, counter-attacks, particularly with the Mulus. Unfortunately, uh, either Illusion's positioning or uh, or the consistent pressure is, is keeping Scarlet's Mulus right on the back foot. Scarlet only now going for a counter-attack, but I can't can't help but think that the this is a couple of minutes behind. Picking off an SCV there is always nice, but uh, there was a lot of exposed SCVs in the main up until a, a moment ago, but those now going to be at the fourth base, along with a planetary fortress, so there's going to be some uh, serious uh, pressure to try and shift. Looks like Scarlet going to be trying to produce 15 bailings to hold off this force. Unfortunately, 3-3 three, three almost done, or at least halfway done for our Terran player, along with uh, the Infernal Preigniters for the Hellions. So that's an interesting choice this late in the game. You often see it, but it's generally much, much earlier on. You don't see the pre-igniters coming up uh, post 20 minute marks, generally uh, you have it early or you don't have it at all, but uh, obviously, well, perhaps a misclick there, the drilling claws, perhaps the upgrade that uh, w was being looked for, is 
There's no Hellions in production, though we do have some Hellbats, so it looks like, uh, looks like the Infernal Pre-Igniter is, is intentional, and uh, Illusion going to be transitioning to some Hellbat play to soak up a few more of these Zerglings. Zerglings and Mainlings are 2-2 two, two at the moment, plus one Flyer upgrade is on the way. So Scarlet gradually starting to make some ground with these upgrades, but we don't mind they're doing a fair bit of damage to both sides. And uh, if, if there's one thing that can be said for both these games, that Scarlet's uh, Scarlet's, uh, Scarlet's gotten off uh, pretty well with her control on those Widow Mines, tending to really mitigate a lot of the damage, and a lot of the damage actually coming down on friendly Terran units. So uh, certainly an advantage for Scarlet. This Thor, though, very dangerous. The Mutilus Cloud finally grown to a sufficient a sufficient uh, quantity to do damage, but uh, the Thor obviously going to pose a threat there. These are Mutilus forced back by this massive clump of Zerglings, uh, Zerglings, massive clump of Marines and miniguns blazing as they barrel their way into this fourth base. Looks like a drop behind the third base is going to be putting a lot of pressure on Scarlet. Scarlet's using the Mutilus to clean this up, but unfortunately a fourth base will go down. There's a drop actually coming up into the main, so illusion all over the place in this game. Unfortunately, trying to drop next to the static defense, unfortunately unable to make that drop work. Perhaps unloading here would have been just a little bit better, but uh, I, I like what Illusion's thinking. He's starting to spread Scarlet thin, which is certainly not easy to do, and just doing such a great job with Scarlet here on the counterattack. One missile turret, well, actually three missile turrets, but uh, only one on the right angle to stop these Mutilus. These Mutilus are going to be able to do a lot of damage here. Love to see them pick off some of these workers. And uh, one SCV will go down along with that constructing command center, which is nice choice. Swinging up into this into the natural expansion, gonna get some more workers here. I like Scarlet's activity with the muters now. I think I think this is just a little bit late, but uh, cer certainly better late than never. Gonna be able to pick off a few marines as well, along with unfortunately the upgrades would have been exposed earlier, but those 3-3 has finished up. Scarlet just trying to tidy up a few of those missile turrets so she can continue to uh, swing back and forward through those bases. Six more muters on the way though. Not not a lot of Zerglings and Banelings, just a few Banelings to try and deter this inevitable Marine push, but two Thors certainly going to provide devastating punch against the Mutilus. The Mutilus or Orange Health is dangerous position to be in, flirting with danger, Scarlet is, as as she tries to defend with Mutilus that are all already very low in health. Very dangerous. Thors could uh, turn this situation from uh, dangerous to deadly in uh, just one volley. We'll see, we'll see how Scarlet positions for this defense. A lot of Banelings here. The connections are going to make it or break it for Scarlet. How many uh, Banelings can these Hellbats soak up? Unfortunately, the Hellbats behind the Marines, these these Banelings are going to do so much damage to the Marines, and most of those Marines will go down. The two Thor's going to be here and provide a lot of 1-2 uh, punch damage on this uh, hatchery. If this hatch goes down, Scarlet will be down to a single mining base, and uh, unfortunately not mining gas here, so you've got to be super careful. Mutilus are still alive, so Scarlet's still got plenty of hope, and Mutilus able to do a lot of damage here. Picking off that Thor would be great if she can uh, get get the right angle to engage it with. Mutilus going to continue to fly. Unfortunately, flying over Stim 3-3 Marines is going to is going to do it. Unfortunately, and looks like Illusion against all odds will uh, take this series against Scarlet 2-0, and uh, certainly a little bit of an upset. Scarlet, one of the best foreign Zerg players in the world. Certainly one of the last foreign players residing in most of the major tournaments recently. So a uh, fantastic play for Illusion. Absolutely stoked that he was managed managed to 2-0 uh, Scarlet. Very rare. Obviously, a big, I'm a big Scarlet fanboy. Never like to see Scarlet lose, but uh, he's super excited for Illusion that he is able to do that and excited to see how Illusion progresses in this tournament. Scarlet, of course, still uh, has an opportunity to redeem herself. Can uh, fight, it, fight her way through the loser's bracket to... Uh, make it into the round of eight, and we'll see if she's able to do that. We've got plenty more uh, Aussie StarCraft coming up after this, guys, so please, by all means, tune into the channel. If you haven't, as of yet, please subscribe. We've got a lot of action following this right after the break, so we'll catch you in the next cast. Thanks, guys. This is Aussie StarCraft. We'll see you then.